Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another drop list video. The series where we cover all the items that are releasing in a specific week for various different streetwear brands. And in today's video, we're going to be covering everything that is dropping in week three of Palace's Autumn 2021 collection. <laughs> I'm just sorry everyone out there that's waiting for me to do the videos on the fall winter collection for Supreme. Uh, I got We've got priorities. We've covered the spring summer 2021 top five items that I loved. We're now doing the drop list for Palace's week three. Don't worry Supreme lovers out there, we'll get to the fall winter 2021 collection. <laughs> We're just gonna do some other things first. So. Let's do the second thing that I have to do first before we even start talking about the Fall Winter 2021 art collection for Supreme, which of course is week three, guys. So yes, hot off the heels of their collaborative second week last week, we have week three, which will just feature a bunch of seasonal items. I've written them all down. It will feature a total of 13 seasonal items this week. Um, from what I've seen, Nothing really is speaking to me at the moment, but maybe you guys are more keen on week three than I am, which is generally the case anyway. Either way, we're going to be covering uh, the release time and date for this week. We're going to be covering all the pieces releasing in this week, and of course my thoughts and opinions on it all as we go through it. How we're going to cover that all is by using a Hypebeast article, which will have all the details there. Let's head on over there now, and we'll start by covering the drop time and drop date for week three. Here we are, guys, at the Hypebeast article that we'll be using to cover week three. If you guys want to check it out, it's linked down in that description section below, like always. We'll cover the uh, drop details first, and then we'll dive into the 77 images of week three. And the first piece here, I already love the all over print, but we'll get into that when we get into that. So, Palace's week three drop will be available from August 20th in the UK and US via the brand's online store and in store at the respective drop times. Uh, me as an Australian, if I wanna pick it up, I will be on the UK's website uh, at 11 a.m. British Standard Time, and that's where I'll be to pick it up. Uh, it does also drop in Japan and China the day later on the Saturday on Japan's online store and on China's WeChat store. Uh, that's all the release details there, but if you have any further questions on week three and how to pick up from them and etc, etc, let me know in the comment section below and I'm sure we can help you out there. Anyway, let's move on back up and have a look at these images. So, 77 images of the 13 pieces releasing this week. Let's jump right in and see what we are getting in week three. Now, Hypebeast has actually changed how they set out their palace drops for this season. Normally it would be each individual piece, but maybe it's just a week three thing. They have clumped together the pieces that all match together. So it's going to be a little bit different from the normal weeks that we've covered. Anyway, the first three pieces that we are getting in this week's drop is the utility pieces. This will be the utility jacket, uh, the utility pants, and of course the utility six or shell six panel. Now, it features in this first all-over crazy print, which I really liked. I praised it in the lookbook. I thought it was really cool. It kind of looks like a bunch of brush strokes uh, mimicking like a, I guess, a burnt tree or something like that. I just really liked how it looked. It was a really unique all-over print for this type of jacket. What I didn't like, though, was that they had to slap a huge triferg on the back of it. I just wanted it to breathe. I felt like without the big trifog on the back of it, it kind of would have looked a little bit nicer. But maybe you disagree. Maybe you love those huge trifogs on the back, and this is for you. Either way, if you're not a fan of this colorway or you want to see the other ones, it does come in other colors. So it features in this all over multi print uh, pattern. Then it features in, in just a simple black, which, eh, I'm not really feeling. Uh, and then we move into our final color, which is the cream. Um, again, 
a kind of meh. Just looks like like every other Anrec and matching pants and cap that we get like every other palace season. Like I really felt like this color was the one that shined the most because it's just so unique. But anyway, that's the first series of three items releasing this week. I thought I'd cover all three to start off with because they're all clumped together like this. Uh, let's move into item number four and see what that item is that's dropping this week. Item 4, initially when I saw this piece, I was like, oh damn, I don't remember this from the lookbook. Like, it, it's cool, but like, I don't remember this. I remember a different logo elsewhere on a crew neck, and then when I went to the second image, I was like, ah, oh, now I get it. Yeah, so when I saw this, I thought they were two separate pieces, but then I realized, no, nope, it's the same typeface, it's the same piece. I kind of wish that they were two different pieces, because I feel like... This sweat, uh, crew neck sweater, like this by itself, is awesome. Then this one, with this huge graphic on the back of it by itself, is alright. But no, they've clumped them together at one piece, and this piece is simply just called the word crew. Pretty easy to remember. Comes in a black, comes in a navy and white, comes in a red and black, and then it comes in one final colour, which is the grey and white. Look, I... I would have been very interested in this piece as, as, you know, two separate pieces, but when they've been meshed together as one like this, I've kind of lost interest in it. I feel like it's just a bit too much branding and just a bit too big for me. Maybe you feel differently though, but that is the fourth item releasing in week three. Let's go check out item number five, which uh, features some very British graphics right here. <laughs> Pub inspired graphics we have at the fifth item releasing in week three we have the pub grub funnel neck yeah I know a bit of an odd name for a piece uh, it features a bunch of different graphics on the front on the arms beer graphic on the arm there and a I guess you would call it quarter zip it doesn't go halfway down the piece it goes a quarter of the way down the piece I would call it a quarter zip maybe a oh a third might be a bit too much either way it's got a zip on it it comes in a couple other colors it comes in a black comes in a green and it comes in a gray uh each from what i know are referencing different taverns bars or beers potentially depending on the graphics i don't know never been to the uk you guys have got like thousands of bars over there i wouldn't know which ones it's referencing unless like it i could google like top three bars in the uk and these three came up <laughs> <laughs> it's just not something I know. Either way, there you go. That's the three colors for item number five releasing in week three. Let's move on to number six. Number six is actually a little bit more tasteful. What we have is the oval hood. Uh, this features a uh, very like 90s uh, looking branded graphic on the chest here and a little bit of those like, um, you know, uh, varsity inspired cuffs on the uh, hoodie itself. I actually kind of like this. The graphic itself from what I can tell is corduroy in the center there because of you know the uh, I guess the uh, just the texture and then it's embroidered throughout. Uh, I don't mind this. It comes in a couple of the colors as well. It comes in a black, comes in a blue which is quite nice, comes in a gray and I think there's one more as well. Oh no, there's another one after this. There's the green, and then there's the orange as well. That's the final color there. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say orange. It's more of a mustard, isn't it? Mustard yellow. Yeah, look, I really like the silhouette. I kind of just wish they went with different colors, though. Like, the color schemes on these are really odd. My favorite's probably going to go to the gray, maybe the blue. Actually, no, I think I am leaning on the gray here. Uh, yeah, just kind of wish that they did different uh, colors for this piece. But the actual branding and everything looks really nice it looks like a simple staple piece to wear uh, either way that is item number six the oval hood let's go check out item number seven now here we are at item number seven guys what we have is a long sleeve t-shirt and it is called the chapping long sleeve uh, this one features a big well a pretty big graphic on the front with a even bigger graphic on the back it says palace naturally and features a huge landscape uh, it comes in a black color, it comes in a white, comes in a gray, comes in a navy, which I gotta say, I, I think the colors pop quite nicely on the back of the navy one. It comes in, I guess, a purple, um, not really feeling this one as much. 
And then it comes in a very light blue as well. I think my favorite's probably gonna go to the navy. I don't know, the orange just works really nice on that navy there. Uh, the rest, bit of a miss for me. But uh, maybe you feel differently about the chapping long sleeve. Let me know how you feel about this piece in the comment section below. But let's press on and have a look at item number eight. Which I gotta say is one of my favorite pieces from the lookbook because I was having a lot of fun with it. <laughs> Uh, what we have here, get ready for Palace's dumb name for this piece. It's just Palace me and Palace. Bunch of stupid fun. Uh, there's a hole in my shirt. That's what this shirt's called. Uh, there's a hole in my shirt shirt. Hilarious. They're hilarious, I know. It comes in a blue, or I should say a navy. It comes in a white, which I think is probably my favorite. And then it comes in a red as well, which I'm not feeling at all. It just kind of looks like a, like a doily on a grandma's, like, coffee table, you know? Like, it's just... <laughs> just odd. Just an odd piece. You can't wear this by yourself. You need to wear an undershirt or something, because, like, it, it's... <laughs> just gonna have a nipple sticking through this. Like, you know, it's just... Ah... Uh... Phallus being Phallus, man. Let me know how you feel about this. It's <laughs> it's an odd piece. Uh, that is item number eight. Let's go check out item number nine. Okay, item number nine, something a little bit more easier to wear. We have the Da One t-shirt, featuring a trifurg graphic on the left breast, as well as a big trifurg on the back. I like this on the jacket more than the tee, but I'm, some of you will be feeling the tee version. Uh, it comes in a blue, a lime, a purple, a, a yellow or orange maybe, I don't know what I should call that, sun, sunny D, sunshine yellow, I don't know. Uh, we got it in the black, and then <laughs> uh, someone in the Hype Beast team has screwed up the line of images because they've thrown in the next piece in here by accident. But it comes in a black, uh, and it comes in a grey, comes in a navy, and last but not least, comes in a white. And it says Dust Till Dawn at the top there and features this graphic here. Look, for me, this tee is not for me. Uh, it comes in so many colours uh, this week. Uh, I, yeah. Just not for me, but maybe you like the one t-shirt. Uh, let's press on and have a look at item number 10 though, although it uh, kind of has been spoiled for us. Wow, who saw item 10 coming? No way. <laughs> I mean, I could have like edited it out. Like I could have hid the black tea, but look, I'm not gonna hide Hype Beast's mistakes, man. We're gonna, we're gonna roll with that. <laughs> yeah, we have, well, I mean, he's also rolling with something else, but anyway, uh, what we have at item number 10 is the large up t-shirt. Uh, it features in a black, as we've seen, a lime, uh, it also features in the same yellow as well. Oh, sorry, the same orange as well. Uh, the purple, the gray, and I think the last color is gonna be a white. Yeah, there you go. Which I gotta say is probably my favorite because I like the black outline on this creature dude here. Um, it just works really nicely on the white tee, but yeah, not for me. Odd, odd little piece there. But that is item number 10. We've only got three more items left in this week. Let's jump in and have a look at item number 11. Which is a wild, wild piece. Item number 11, we have the sticker pack pop. Uh, this features in the two colors that the other sticker pack pieces uh, come in. So we've obviously got the multicolored version. And then we've got the grayscale version, which I think looks really nice on the hoodie version. The, I, I'm not a huge fan of all over print uh, like t-shirts like this. But as soon as you put this same graphic on a hoodie, I'm like, oh my god, it's a totally different piece. I gotta buy it. <laughs> I don't know, I do feel differently about that. Uh, yeah, let me know how you feel about this piece. I am not a fan of it, but maybe you guys are feeling it. That is item number 11. Let's go check out item number 12. Now, item number 12, you're probably like, wow, this is really, really boring. <laughs> and I mean, fair, it's not the most exciting piece that's released this week, but I mean, it's still, it's still a nice silhouette for some jeans, some really baggy jeans, especially around the thigh area, which I gotta give Alice some props for that. Just looking off the photos alone, it looks quite thick around the thighs. Exactly what I need. If you guys do this in a 38, maybe a 40, let me know. Uh, this does feature in a couple other colors. It's just, the piece is simply just called the Palace Jeans. It's nothing too crazy. Uh, it features in this navy with the orange contrasting stitching. Features in the white with the same orange stitching and get ready for the final color, which is the sticker color for the jeans. I personally think this is my favorite. I I know I love dumb all over print stuff like this, but 
I think this looks cool. It, it looks cool on the jeans. You wear these jeans with just like a basic tee and basic shoes. Let the all over print jeans do the talking. I'm feeling it. I like it. Uh, yeah, well, that is the second last item releasing this week, guys. The Palace Jeans. Let's move into our last piece uh, this week. Well, they're two pieces, but I mean, I kind of see it as like a, if you buy one, you got to get this other piece. It's like a two for one thing. Uh, let's go have a look at the last few pieces that are releasing this week. Here we are, guys. I mean, I've listed it as item 13, but it is technically 13 and 14. Why am I saying it's two pieces? Well, you have the cricket bat here that's releasing this week, but then on top of that, you have the cricket ball. And I, I don't know, maybe you guys could just buy the ball or just buy the bat, but I feel like you kind of need both. Like, it, it'd be kind of rude not to buy both. Uh, yeah, look, as much as I am Australian, I am not a fan of cricket. I'm a fan of playing it, not watching it. But I know the UK, you guys up there, you guys are big fans of this stuff. So I can see a skating brand releasing something like this. Uh, but for me, I'm missing out on it. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is week three of Palace's Autumn 2021 collection. Uh, for me, my favorite piece this week is probably the oval hoodie, actually. Just like looking at everything, I'm really bummed out that, that this crew neck had to have such a huge graphic on the back of it. Yeah, it's probably the oval hood. Just something basic, easy to wear. Yeah, it's probably, yeah, I, I would comfortably say the oval hoodie is probably my favorite piece this week. Um, you guys might disagree with me on that, and that's totally fine. Uh, let me know what you guys think of week three and the pieces releasing in it down in that comment section below but that is it guys that is the drop time drop date covered for week three and all the pieces in it and how i feel about all the pieces individually i'm not going to be going for anything this week um i've well i recently uh, well i recently unboxed a capital piece and i'm saving up for another capital piece and another undercover japan piece that i want <laughs> like i have my sights set on what i want and i just yeah i just can't buy stuff on a whim like this because well, I don't have unlimited cash so yeah I won't be picking up anything from this week I want to hear from you guys though that are picking up something this week uh, what are you feeling what are you not feeling let me know down in that comment section below of course if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming weeks in palaces season or palace collaborations and stuff like that don't forget to give me the three indicators which is a like on this video a comment in that comment section down below and obviously a subscribe to the channel we're also trying to aim for a new subscriber milestone this month of 3050 subscribers we're only a couple off guys so hopefully with your continuous support we can reach that milestone before the end of the month that's all i've really got to say about week three though guys uh, good luck to everyone out there that's looking to pick up a piece this week i hope you manage to pick it up in the size and color that you're looking for and if you do or don't please let me know in that comment section below how you go with it all but uh until the next drop list video until the next streetwear talk video until the next palace video in general guys i'll catch you later